Welcome to this tutorial on syncing Pioneer DJ players to Resolume Arena. In this tutorial, we'll use Pro DJ Link Bridge to control our visuals with Pioneer players. To see which Pioneer products are supported by Resolume Arena, please check the article in the description below. Besides the products, this article will also explain how to physically connect and set up your players. This video will mostly focus on the functionality of the player in Resolume Arena. With that out of the way, let's get started. The first step is to configure Pro DJ Link Bridge to your specifications. Please consult the Pro DJ Link Bridge documentation to learn more about this application. A link to their manual can be found in the description below. To get started in Arena, navigate to the Arena menu, select Preferences and go to General. Next, make sure that the Pioneer DJ Network interface is set to the same network as the one you have configured in the Pro DJ Link Bridge application. The TCNet connection bar should appear here. If it doesn't, go to View and enable it. Now that we're all set up, let's connect a clip to a track. First, I'll use the player to navigate to the track that I want to connect to my clip. In Arena, I'll select my clip and I'll have some regular playback. Next, I'll drag and drop the player onto the clip transport. We have now connected the track DAFA Low Mix .mp3 to our clip. Notice that the transport type has changed to Pioneer DJ and the playback mode has changed to Play Once, which is default behavior for DJ players. In contrast to VJ loops, music tends not to loop on DJ decks. Next, I press play on my Pioneer player and as soon as I do, the clip starts playing too. Note that the file being played by the player is the same as the file in the clip. This is one of the three conditions that will decide whether a clip will trigger or not. The second condition is that the right player is selected. By default, this is set to all. This means that regardless of which player is used, as soon as the track is played, the clip starts. You are free to specify this to a single player if you see fit. The third condition is the offset, to which we will return in a bit, but first, playback modes. By default, this will be play once, but you can change it to loop or stretch if you so desire. Stretch is specific to DJ players and will stretch your video to the length of the track. By default, layer opacity will be enabled. With this enabled, the slider of the mixer will be able to change the opacity of the layer the clip is on. Note that this is the layer opacity, not the clip opacity. Next, we have offset, which is the starting point for the clip regardless of the length of the track. Here, I'll set it to 5 and hit play on my DJ player. After 5 seconds of the track starting, the clip will start. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, can Resolume Man scratch? No. 